Gardening as a culture has grown in popularity over the last few years. The increasing awareness about health has pushed people towards healthier food and products. Vermicompost has been one of the most preferred fertilizers that yields effective results. Hi, I'm Aganya Pari, co-founder of Saks Vanya. I was born in Madurai and was brought up in Chennai. I did my engineering from SSN College of Engineering, Chennai, and my postgraduate diploma in management from Great Lakes Institute of Management, Chennai. I rejected my campus placement offer and joined the family business in the year 2011. It's almost a decade now. I have handled different businesses from retail. We were franchisees for Titan, Titan watches and Titan eyewear. We were original equipment manufacturers for diesel generators associated with different corporates. And now uh, it's a startup company, Saks Vanya. At Saks Vanya, we manufacture vermicompost. Vermicompost is the breakdown of organic substances by earthworms. We manufacture vermicompost and we also provide organic and natural products like coco peat, potting mix, neem oil, etc. They are all soil additives, soil supplements. Why we got into this business is people are more conscious about organic today. They feel organic food is safe, uh, healthy, it is free from pesticides. On the other hand, during the pandemic, the nursery sales grew up 300% compared to the pre-COVID times. We want, my sister and I, we decided to relaunch the vermicompost uh, business. Relaunch because uh, it was a small experiment by my grandfather, Saks Narayanan, about 15-20 years ago. The product received uh, great appreciation from customers. Seeing an opportunity during the pandemic, we decided to relaunch this business. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, since we started during the pandemic, digital media was the only choice we had. So, and also uh, e-commerce avenues like Amazon, etc. We have reached to those places through these avenues. And even on those platforms we had, we surprisingly had uh, repeat purchases. Uh, we are a startup company. We have about uh, 10 employees now. Five of them are working on the sales and marketing and about five of them are working on the farm. All of us work together to give value to our customers. The challenges that we face in the business are we need to be able to manage the uh, liquidity every day in the business. Uh, the business must have cash when it is required to pay for uh, bills, to pay for vendor payments, salaries, rent, etc. That's an everyday firefighting job. Being a businesswoman and a mother of two small children, a five-year-old and a two-year-old. Juggling between building a company and parenting itself is a challenging task, an exhausting task. Flexibility in entrepreneurship and uh, a good support system at home, a supportive husband, a cooperative husband is more than enough. You need a lot of space to set up this uh, 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 manufacturing of vermicompost. Fortunately, uh, our farm is at Madurai. Fortunately, we had the space. So we started building the vermi beds. Initially, we had about 10 beds and then uh, 15 beds. And now we have about 30 beds, both indoor and outdoor. This is a time-consuming process. It takes about a month or 45 days to take the first harvest. Uh, simultaneously, the company had to be run. So uh, these were the initial struggles that we faced. But today, uh, with the overwhelming response from the customers, uh, uh, we, we are able to do uh, volumes in this business. We collect the ingredient, the main ingredient that we use is the cow dung. We collect from uh, local farms. We have tie up with dairy farms and we go inspect and then uh, take the material for uh, the process of vermicompost. For any startup, uh, to secure the startup capital 
is quite difficult. Uh, uh, you can borrow from family, friends. How we did was uh, put in our savings and uh, we initially started. And uh, uh, vermicompost manufacturing is uh, space intensive. It is also labor dependent and time consuming. To, uh, it all makes it more difficult. So to take a production of 20 tons, we put in about 14 to 15 lakhs of investment. So important factors would be the wormy bed. The worms, uh, they breed to their skin. So the bedding has to be moist. If there is no moisture, it dries out and the worm dies. And the worm food, what you put in for the worms, what goes in is important. And then uh, the temperature and the aeration, you cannot pack the bed too tightly so uh, there wouldn't be free flow of air or oxygen for the worms to survive so your bed has to be well aerated so these are some key factors to keep in mind when you want to start uh, vermicompost For a new business, you need uh, GST registration. Even in GST, if you are a products-based business, if you are under 40 lakhs turnover, GST is not required. For over uh, uh, 40 lakhs turnover and a products business, you do need GST registration. If you are a services business, you need GST registration. There is no specific license required to start the vermicompost business. For budding entrepreneurs, I would say you should be focused and uh, persistent. You will have uh, difficult situations. Uh, you should be uh, persistent and run the show. Based on my experience, I would also like to say that even as you are busy, keep looking for opportunities, both that are related to your business and unrelated to your business. Somewhere down the line, when you want to expand or you would like to forward integrate or backward integrate these ideas might uh, be useful that's how uh, saxvania happened to us since childhood uh, my father is my big inspiration he has prepared me for what i am today today i see the value of it since vermicompost production is possible even with a low investment, it provides opportunities for people to establish a lucrative business out of it.